I'd be interested to see it out in the road. Uh, would I opt for this over a standard stop slow bat? I would usually try and test something like this to see how far I can push it to break it. And th this is not gonna be any different. Okay, certainly packaged well. Nice whale shaped storage bag for it. This is our handle. Here is my spout. You kind of should want it all packaged up pretty well given the cost of it. Whenever it comes with a charge, be sure to charge after every shift. Alternatively, you can charge with the RR Solar Trickle Charger while you're on your work break. I'm kind of liking this handle. It looks like aluminium, it's really light. Um, good steady stopper on the end uh, and pretty cool little mechanism there to be able to fold that in half. This is actually all really sturdy, it's very thick. Apparently designed and manufactured by RR LED Traffic Signs in Tanawa up the coast. Knowing what I know about stop slow bats in the traffic industry, um, they don't have a particularly long lifespan. I really like this, this is good. Uh, this was made out of plastic and it wasn't conductive, uh, would solve uh, issues for lightning storms and work with overhead electrical clients and those sorts of things. It has a uh, some sort of switch in here or sensor that knows when it's uh, laying down or upside down. But then when you pick it up um, and use it again, uh, it starts it starts working, which is pretty cool. It's a very neat product. Let's do some tests, we'll do some battery tests, we'll see how long they last. So you've got 64 LEDs there running second on, second off, so 50% load. Uh, and they both flash you know, at the same time. But look, overall pretty happy. Uh, it's expensive. I, again, I don't know how many traffic controllers are gonna look at buying these. Uh, and if you're from a traffic business, I don't know how many of these you're gonna buy uh, for your staff. Let's see how it goes. Stop traffic, oh shit. Still works. 